Sometimes you gotta close the door to open a window. I saw a photo, you look joyous. My eyes are green, I eat my veggies. I need to get her out the picture. And that's our second Open Alliance uh, group. We're getting ready for a finale very soon. But before we do that and also talk about our second group, Open Alliance teams, let's go ahead and do our giveaway uh, for our friends at ThriftyBot uh, and also from uh, 2582. So the keywords were uh, very thrifty and lucky. The ThriftyBot winner is going to be AM Quake. Congratulations. I know you've won some giveaways before, but make sure you go to firstupdatesnow.com slash winner in order to claim for that. Uh, and then let's draw from the giveaway for our friends at 2582. Uh, that was for the Lucky Dust uh, and then a, uh, it's, it is a large uh, size t-shirt, just a heads up on that. Uh, and the winner of that is going to be uh, Daniel. What's good? Congratulations uh, to both of our winners uh, for that as well, too. So let's talk about uh, our teams from our second Open Alliance group here. What do you got? Yep. So leading off this group was kind of with a bit of mystique was 2582, the Lufkin Panther bots. Uh, they were highlighting their, their robot with a lot of LED and, and, and a smoke machine, which uh, was pretty cool to see. Uh, so we really didn't get to see a lot from this whole team. Saw like a shot here or two and an intake here or two there. So kind of heading into uh, first in Texas with kind of a, a lot to show, and we'll see them on the field there. So uh, good luck. And um, on to the next was 2656 uh, Quasix from Pittsburgh. Um <clears throat> And they were kind of making me laugh at the sound effects that they had while they were shooting uh, shooting their notes there. And I, I got a good, uh, um, good laugh out of that. So we saw some week zero gameplay, which I think is always great, you know, whether, you know, pretty low stakes uh, at these events, but really getting on, a, you know, a real field or a semi-real field, I think really helps you uh, heading into the competition season. So uh, we saw some speaker scoring. Uh, we saw them do a stage climb as well. So they have one regional lined up for them in Pittsburgh. So we'll see them real soon and good work and good luck to them. And then, and then the last team uh, for my section was 7421 Overture coming in hot with their video, uh, loving their music of choice here and kind of the style that they went with their video. Uh, great floor pickup several times, you know, they don't pick that note up squarely and, and the robot adjusts to that, uh, gets it right to their um, shooter with no problem. So, um, Trap shooting, kind of question mark here, kind of highlighted that. We were saying get big, get big here at the end, you know, wanting to really see that. Um, and they kind of really showed that there at the end. So we're assuming, you know, that we'll, we'll be doing some trap uh, shooting there. So um, nice stage climb as well and uh, nice work and good luck to 7421. And Justin, who did you have? 
Yeah, you had some awesome teams. I had some good ones as well, uh, starting with 5119 Team Steam. I really love the intro to your video. The unicorn doll for the RSL light was awesome, too. Uh, you can tell the team has a lot of fun. So Clean Looking Robot, Tank Drive, which is a little bit unique these days, but can certainly get the job done. Uh, I also noticed in the video, we didn't see an action, a single hook climber. Again, um, being able to maybe uh, harmonize with another robot on the chain, um, earning them an additional ranking point uh, at various points of the season. So great machine from 5119. Next was 8561. Solid start for them robot wise. Seemed like they have a good foundation uh, to build from. I think with some good strategy, they'll be able to maximize the contribution to their alliance. And the, certainly the LEDs will make them uh, hard to miss uh, on the field. And then lastly, from this group, 3735, bringing a very low CG robot uh, to the Texas district. Uh, robot features an over the bumper intra intake, a nicely controlled utility arm that allows them to score into the speaker for multiple multiple positions as well as scoring to the amp. Uh, I'm not sure about that with climbing, um, but I bet they have plenty of weight uh, to iterate into that as the season moves along. So, uh, and with that, we're gonna close out this second Open Alliance group, and I think we're gonna pull for a giveaway.